Millennials could have an unwelcome challenge waiting for them decades down the line. A new Wells Fargo study finds the generation is headed towards a retirement crisis. 54% of millennial women said their finances were too strained to save for retirement, and the majority surveyed aren't optimistic about their prospects. But it may not be too late to change course. That's the good news. Here to break it all down for us, personal development advisor Larry Wingett. Good morning, sir. All right, so millenni millennials are ill-prepared for retirement? Oh, I think everybody's ill-prepared for retirement. Let's just not pin that one on the millennials. Most old folks aren't ready for it either, according to most studies. You know what bothers me, Sandra, about this the most? is not the money issue, it's the mindset issue. The study reveals that so many people say they're not going to be prepared and they're already coming up with excuses. There's too much wage disparity between the genders. Uh, the job market's not going to be good enough. And for most of these people, we're talking 40 years down the road. 40 years from now, they've already decided they aren't going to have enough money to retire. Okay, so what's it's the real the problem? It's not the money, it's what's, the mindset. What's the real problem? So they're just not, they're not not working on it right now as they should be. I mean, as far as the mindset, 64% of millennials said that they'll never accumulate a million dollars in savings over their lifetime. 73% of women <clears throat> felt this way. So it's even women more than men that are worried they won't be able to save enough to retire. I know, and again, they're coming up with all the excuses. How can you say 40 years from now you're not going to be ready to retire? Because they're unless stretched you've too thin already... is what they say. I know. They, they say they're stretched too thin. Well, why not not stretch yourself so thin? <laughs> okay. First of all, so... that sounds easy enough. <laughs> all right, David. No, it really is about that simple. Adjust your lifestyle. Don't spend more than you make. 43% of Americans spend more money than they ah, earn. Here's see... a clue. Don't do that. All right, Larry, first of all, I'm a little disappointed. You toned down the shirt this morning, so I'm heartbroken <laughs> when I saw you were going to be on the show. I was looking for the shirt. But you, you've got a point here in short, the, the kind of instant gratification society, the millennial generation, which is also the other side of long-term thinking. Think for your future. So you think it's more about we need it right now, and if I can't see it, I can't project 40 years from now? Yeah, I believe that's part of it. And there's also this whole, oh, to hell with it. I don't have enough money now. I'm not going to have money enough money then. And the, add the other part of that mindset issue, these people typically have this high deservability. Somebody should take care yes. of me. They should take care of my health care. They should take care of my education. And they darn sure ought to take care of my retirement. But, Doesn't have any personal responsibility in there at all. Hey, but Larry, you know, in recovery, people talk about you got to hit rock bottom. You got to hit rock bottom before you can write yourself and get into a program. But if you hit rock bottom when it comes to saving and retirement, it's too late. Yeah, it is too late. But again, we're 40 years away from most of those people. It's not too late. They can start adjusting their lifestyle right now. They are, some of these people are employed. They can participate in uh, company matching funds for retirement. They could get into their 401k. They can stop spending so much money, start saving more. They still yeah. have time. They don't have to hit rock bottom. I know. They, 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 it says 43% of Americans spend more than they earn. That's going to be an issue, okay? And Sam Zell, I was chatting with him in Chicago recently. He said, he said millennials won't even buy starter homes, right? So they'll rent and they'll spend themselves out of the market renting until they can go buy a house. And by the time they buy a house, it's not these tiny little starter homes in the little startup neighborhood. Um, they deserve more, apparently, they feel. So they're spending way more than they should be. Yeah, we have too many waiting too late on that to get into the housing market, and they saw their parents get burned on that, where their uh, house really didn't turn out to be much of an investment. They saw their parents get burned in the uh, market as well. So they're waiting, and some of them are just hanging on to their money, but you can't really make any money by just sitting on it. Mm. So you're going to have to get into the market, whether it's the real estate market or uh, the stock market. You're going to have to do something. But I would tell everybody to change their mindset. Get your thinking right. The money's going to be there if your thinking is right. But to decide today how it's going to look for you 40 years from now yeah. and, and by the way, play 40 the years victim is ridiculous. They're worried about saving a million dollars for retirement 40 years from now. I don't know how far a million bucks is going to go. You might need a lot more than that. I'm betting you will, too. All right, Larry Wingett, thank you for joining us this morning.
Thank you. All right. Final thoughts from our all-star panel. After the break, we'll be right back.